My name is Sevinç Osturk. I'm an assistant professor at Bilgisayar University in Turkey with a PhD in political science. In this video, I will give you a quick tutorial about the Google Classroom and I'm going to talk about the advantages and some of the main features of the Google Classroom, especially in creating interest for your students and facilitating the conversation and communication between you and your students, uh, which is very important for social science classes. Google Classroom is a service that allows you to create a class and share files within this class, create assignments, grade assignments, and communicate with your students in a paperless way. It is completely free, which is great. On the other hand, your school needs to sign up for an education account for you to use in order for you to use it with your students as free. Here you see my main page of my Google Classroom account. Uh, because I already signed in my Gmail account and then uh, click on the link of classroom.google.com. Uh, you can just click on the link classroom.google.com and sign in your Gmail account and it will take you to the main page of the Google Classroom. Here you see my main page of the Google Classroom account and you see that I have multiple classes already uh, existed in my Google Classroom account. Uh, this is one of the best features of the Google Classroom because you can create uh, multiple classes, different classes uh, for each of your class. And in order to create a class, you just need to go to the plus sign on the uh, upper right uh, corner of the Google Classroom page and then click on the create class option. And then Google Classroom is asking you whether, you, uh, whether your school has already an education account or not. Uh, if your school has already an education account, you can just click and then click continue. Now it is time to assign some name, section and subject for your and room for your class. So let's say the name of our class is International Organizations. International Organizations. You just need to type the name here. And then let's say the subject is the same, international organizations. Then we just need to click the create option. And now Google Classroom is creating a, creating a class for us, uh, creating our international organizations class. Okay, here, uh, here is the main page of our class uh, or international organizations. And on the top, uh, you will see the different features of the Google Classroom for this class. Uh, stream is the main page. Classwork is, um, let's go to the classwork. Uh, in this feature, you can create assignments, quiz assignments, question. You can uh, actually create a survey here. You can uh, share some kind of material. You can reuse uh, your posts from your other classes and you can create a topic here. This is where uh, you, you can assign your work to your students. And on the top, the third feature is the people. Um, you can uh, invite uh, co-teachers of this class, especially if, uh, for example, uh, this class has a teaching assistant, you can just invite them by clicking on invite teachers option. And you can invite so, uh, your students uh, to join this class. So there are two ways for your students to join this class. So one of the way is that you can invite uh, your students here. Once you click and click on this uh, in my students uh, link, uh, you can just enter their email address and then you can just invite students by this way. Another way is on the stream, um, on the main page, you see the class code on the left hand side of the main page here, class code, you can just share this class code with your students, which is MXVFU7 and A for this class. You can just share this class code with your students and your students can go to your go to their Google Classroom page and then enter this class code to join this class. Okay. And the grades feature shows uh, the grades of the students, you can just view and manage the grades of the students by clicking on this feature. So let's go back to the main page. So I, I think there are two important features, there are very uh, two very useful features of the Google Classroom that I 
use in my classes. Um, one of them is the customize option. So it is working very well to create an interest for your students. And here you can click on the customize option and you can select the different themes of color uh, for your class. You can select a photo, you can upload a photo for your class based on the subject um, of the class or subject of the weekly topic. For example, you can change it every week based on the topic that you um, will discuss at that week. And for example, let's say I'm clicking on the upload photo and this is an international organizations class. So I would like to, I usually use this picture for my international organizations class actually, because uh, it is an interesting picture. This is the uh, mural in the United Nations Security Council's wall. And it's the Phoenix rising among the wars and disharmony. And uh, I am uh, actually uploading some kind of photos uh, like this uh, on my class's main page so that the students, so that I am trying to create some kind of interest for, your, for the students. Okay, let's go back. And another important feature of the Google Classroom is, I think, let's go back here and here that we can make an announcement by attaching some kind of files on the main page so here for example this is my another international organizations class in Turkish um, so here you see that I have shared some kind of Google Docs uh, the uh, so that the students can sign up uh, for their presentations in this spreadsheet and you can actually assign some kind of topics here you can uh, just uh, create some discussion topics here because the students can uh, make a comment under this area, this announcement or this comment, whatever you are sharing here. Uh, so for example, especially in social science classes, uh, e each week you can uh, share some kind of news about the current affairs, um, and then you can start some kind of debates, discussions here, and then st the students can share their ideas, they can develop arguments, they can make comments um, on uh, other students' ideas and comments. So this is especially a great feature for creating, uh, for facilitating the conversation between you and uh, your students and between uh, among the students, actually, facilitating the conversation and facilitating the communication uh, between you and your students. And uh, that's all. Uh, I hope you find it useful. Thanks for uh, listening.